picked up some very interesting cricket photos. Uh, the first set of photos here is a lot of Peter May photos that I picked up, um, which are really interesting. I don't know the exact history of the photos themselves, but uh, these are from when Peter May was at the Charter House School, and uh, Peter May, one of the great batters in um, England's history. This is him in 1945. This was the cricket team uh, at the Charter House School, and I want to say he was... He was very young here, as you can see. I mean, just very baby-faced. Um, I think he was something like 14 or something. Um, but yeah, really cool uh, photo. Um, here's him in 1947, so a couple of years older. Um, and I don't know much about the Charter House School, not from England, but uh, from these pictures, looks like a pretty incredible establishment. My guess is it's probably not too cheap. Uh, apparently, he was also on the soccer team. So this is the 1946 uh, Charter House uh, soccer team. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other notable, uh, you know, cricketers or soccer players um, on these um, in these lists. This one got pretty damaged. I'm not sure. Looks like maybe rust from uh, from old paper clips or something that were on it. Um, but a lot of these are in really nice condition. And again, all these say reproduced by permission of the, uh, the headmaster of the Charterhouse School, but they do seem fairly old, even the reproductions here. Uh, here is Peter May with a gentleman named, uh, it looks like George Geary. And then this guy was the headmaster of the Charterhouse School, uh, Sir Robert Burley. And again, not really sure. I assume that these were used um, as press photographs at some point, even though they're not the originals. Uh, and here's the the green of the Charter House School. So anyway, I just thought that was pretty neat, like pretty random, but saw them, and uh, you know, I really think Peter May's uh, got an incredible career, and uh, very rare that you'd see photos of a player at, at this young age. Um, here's him a little bit early, oh, a little bit later, sorry. Um, and uh, this one is is another um, press photo here. Look at the focus. Uh, and then you know I don't know a ton about this, but uh, it's a a drawing of three Hall of Famers, uh, Bedser, May, and Laker. Um, pretty neat. I'm not sure if this has any. Significance, it does seem like it was, um, and this wasn't cut out of a magazine or something. This was a, a print. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then uh, two more non-Peter May related items. This is an old postcard with Bradman's signature on it. Uh, but a very cool postcard. You know, you've got Ponsford, McCabe on there as well as Grimmett um, and a bunch of other... Uh, Australian players of the year. I believe this is 1930. Yep, it is. I think someone had marked or 1930. I don't know if that's a 32 or what, um, but sometime in the early 1930s. And here's the back. And then finally, I picked up this Len Hutton photograph, which is just really sharp. I mean, that is a really cool shot. Um, and he signed it down there. Um, and this is a, I guess, another press photograph, Yorkshire newspapers. Um, but yeah, just really, really thought that was a, a super, super awesome, awesome shot of him coming out to bat early in his career. So a little bit random, but uh, I've really enjoyed picking up these historical uh, photographs and postcards um, in addition to you know, some of the, uh, the cards I've been picking up as well. So I wanted to share.